Hi, I'm Mr. Tozer, and I'm going to be taking you through a types of practice video. We're going to be looking at some sport examples, and we're going to be applying it to our theory. So if you want to stop the video, then feel free and make some notes. So I hope this is going to be beneficial to you all. Whole part whole, we're now looking at how we can not only break the skill down from a competitive situation, but we're also then applying it back into that game, okay? So it is a skill that is practiced as a whole before broken down into parts to improve before then applying it back into that game situation. It's good because it gives a feel of both what a part and a whole situation is, okay? So it's good for the performers to see how they can apply it uh, within the right time within the game. Okay. So the benefits, it's good for all types of skill, open, close, simple and complex. Uh, and it's good to promote skills within a game and it's good for motivation. Okay, Because you'll be able to see that natural progression from the start to when you finally apply it at the end of your practice. The only downfall of this practice is it's, it's time consuming Okay, to recognise what the skill is and then come out and then go back into the game again. And it's not good for all beginners okay? because they need to start with more of a part practice method. So for examples, we're going to be looking at a handball jump shot and we're going to be looking at a layup in basketball. So in that situation, I need to think about how I, I can work on this shot. So as you can see, the area that I need to improve on is the jump in my shooting. So now I'm going to take it into a part practice to develop it. We identified the problem with the shot wasn't Mr. Toza's horrendous turn of speed. Instead, it was the fact that he wasn't jumping. Okay, so now he's just literally practicing the part that is the jump on the shot so that we can apply that back into the whole practice and see the improvement that it would have. Finish. <laughs> so as you could see within this game situation, Mr. Piper tried to execute the layup shot but missed. So to perform this shot better, we're going to take it into a pure part method and work on executing the shot by hitting the right hand corner on the backboard. If he can successfully do this, we will then take it back into a whole part scenario. From that success within that part practice, we are now going to apply it back into a whole practice. So hopefully his uh, progression would have paid off within his game performance. example, we're thinking about how we can identify that weakness within a game. So the very first thing we're going to do is look at a gameplay to allow that weakness to be identified, which in this case is going to be marking. So if you look at our pitch here, we have the, uh, the green team uh, defending against the blue team. However, in this game, we can see that the green team aren't defending very well, which allows the blue team to attack into the greens half to score. So we need to think about what, how we're going to practice this idea of marking within an isolated drill. Okay? So we've taken that out. We are now thinking about what we need to do to develop our marking. So the green team have now created a drill on a half pitch and they're going to be focusing them to, uh, uh, primarily on defending okay? and specifically marking. So they're going to be thinking about what they need to do, what techniques they need to come up with to mark better when we go back into the game. So, when we move back into the game, we're now thinking about how we can implement marking when we play against the blue team once again. This time around, we should see this natural progression. So now the green team should be able to mark better, which is going to stop the blue team from attacking during the game. So this whole idea, this whole idea of whole part whole is slowly developing it within different parts of practice.